Hello and welcome to a brand new Starmade episode, and today I'm going to show you my Space Shuttle Rebel. Well, I made uh, this, I made the Space Shuttle. This will be a three-part uh, video. In the first part, I'm going to talk about the giant booster rocket, what's below it. Second part, I'm going to talk about the Space Shuttle. And at the third part, I'm going to show you how to dock the Space Shuttle to the booster rocket, because it's a little bit annoying to get it back on the booster. It's easy to get it off, but to get it on... If you do not know how to do it, you can be fooling around for hours. So, let's start. And first I'm going to show you the inside of the booster rocket. So, we get out of our little ship core. We go inside. At first you have two gravity modules. Because it's always nice to have them. You have more gravity modules. You have more of them. And you have a lot of flex doors because... There is a straight line between the door and the core, so else if the shields go down it will be like it will be immediately taken out if the pirates get behind your ship. Then we got here a lot more gravity units and we got here a door. And the reason there's a door here, yes this thing is hollow, because it can go really really fast. If there is nothing attached to it, it can go like to ma almost Mach 1. So it can go eleven hundred kilometers an hour instead of twelve hundred. But you sometimes have the problem if it, an, if it isn't a certain orientation that you will spawn outside this little cube and it's really annoying if you have to break through the ship to get back into it to get back to, to, get back to the part you can exit it again so I made there a little door it makes it easier to exit the ship now we have a faction module a build block an AI module I don't think anybody is ever going to use this, but it doesn't matter. So we get in. I'm going to show you around in this thing. Well, you see, we have an engine. It's one of the two big engines. And it's like in a checkerboard pattern. And the reason I did this, it was first a massive thing. At least it was half massive because it did just go to here. But I saw a video on YouTube. And it told me that when you do it in a checkerboard pattern and just like real long, it's more efficient. And it is. On the big scale it works better because it took down my mass by 200. Not really much, but it's something. When you're trying to make something really, really fast, every little bit helps. So we got, uh, well, I can better show you this from here. We got here the, the fuel pipe that's on it. That's well, not completely symmetric because well, the, the booster, ha the fuel tank, is a fuel tank, not a booster, has this thing on it. So we got multiple viewing points. We got from here, are we watching now? This is the uh, thing that's connected spatial to this. On the other side of this, then we have one in the front, the other connector. We have one on the left booster rocket. You can see right there, you cannot see it because it's, yeah, it's behind blocks. And we have one in the middle and on the right booster rockets, which you can see right now. And we have one from the ship core. So, let's get back. So let's move on to the space shuttle. Because that's probably why you came here to see. Instead of this big rocket thing and the little ship core. So, let's get to it. Back into the ship core. Moving up. Getting the wing. The door is on the same side as in the real space shuttle. There's two doors. I, in the beginning I was thinking it has one, but... Only two. It ha because it has two. That's why it has one. How do I remove this? Why can't I pick up? Oh, problem solved. Well, we go in, we use the gravity unit, we have gravity on ourselves. Well, I'm lost. Oh, yes, I remember. These are the uh, crew quarters. You can two people sleep, and here you can two people sleep. Because the space shuttle, at least this one, is operated by four people. I can fit more stuff for more people inside, so. Normally it's operated by, I believe, 8 people at max. So we have here, we can we can go down here. 
and I see that I put a block there, what should not be there. I hate it when I do that. Do I have to update the... Oh, are you kidding me? Well, you're seeing uh, this is your storage area, sort of a library for everything you can find in your space exploration. I really don't like that block. Now do I need to up now do I need to update the entire file? Oh and the catalog, I need to I need to do that. But yes, we have here is the ship core. You probably know what this thing is. This is the uh cargo bay of the spatial with the giant arm what self lifts what what helps to lift what do you call those things? Those things that fly in orbit, the two big sonar panels on them with communication Sp satellites that's that's it <laughs> so we have a AI module a ship core and a faction module we go into the ship core show give you a better look of it and I forgot you to show something because let's go to the cockpit that's the most important part of the ship isn't it well it actually hasn't been star made I don't like that it is not the most important ship in Starmate. The most important part of the ship in Starmate. So where's the cockpit? We have four chairs, like I told you, there is stuff for four. That's why we have four beds, because I could only fit four chairs in the cockpit. If there were if I could fit eight chairs here in this, there will be eight beds. But yes, we have here one cockpit module. And we have here a weapons computer and our salvage computer. It has weapons and a salvage computer, but they are not very effective. It's more like a ship for a long voyage, or to just fly around because it is a space shuttle and the space shuttle is epic. But yes, we have here a flex door, and you're probably all wondering, what does this thing? Well, we unlock it, and we have a long tube down. You cannot enter in that. But we go down to the ship core. Because this is nice, there's a little, a very little thing I added to the ship. No, it did not open up. Because probably some of you were thinking, oh, now the, now the uh, big hangar door, of the uh, big cargo bay door opens up. No, it doesn't. I made something else that opens up. And you can see it right here. It's the landing gear. See, like, this is the, 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 Oh my gosh, why I am forgetting every English word at the moment. The flex door goes through this and then this entire system. Yes, it all it's basically all connected up and we got a landing gear. It's a little thing to add to the ship. Can be really nice if you just like if you have a carrier and you put every door of the carrier, like every hangar door, with flex doors all the way to your cockpit or so that you can always unlock it. But let's continue on uh, everything I'm talking about. And well, now are we gonna undock this thing? But this is gonna be quite something. We undock, and you can immediately see all everything when it's back up again. And now are we? Not any more connected, so as you can see. But now you're probably thinking, well, if I download the ship and I'm going to deconnect, how will I ever connect it? Because I will show you that. Look, if you just get into this cockpit, and we have one in the front too, I mean, if you use this beam, it is uh, not going to work. You're not going to get the aim right, because Starmate doesn't like this if it is exactly in front of the beam. Well, you see, it's actually saying it's hitting, but it's probably hitting somewhere right in that spot. So it's too annoying. What we are going to do is we press, we hold down control, and the XY plane, we're going to select this. We go to the ship core. This is probably a lot more trouble you want to do every time, so. Well, you see, we have put it on the side. You need to put Odd symmetry mode on. We've put it on the side of the ship core. Then we go down to the ship. We go get a SD cockpit. Yes, those items are cheated in. 
and we put one right there. And if you just do not like to do that every time, then put a different color hole in this, basically. Because it can be quite annoying, I figured this out luckily, because else there was no way to do this thing. And that will be really stupid if you have a booster rocket and a space shuttle, but they cannot connect to each other. And now we just aim it down, and we're connected again! So, then you just remove this, and turn this off, and we're connected again. I'm not gonna talk about any statistics about this thing. You can find everything, and I mean everything, everything on every computer of this thing you can find in the description. So it will be a really long description. So, uh, yeah, that's been the video. And, uh, bye!